Hi, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration on creating an A1 academic poster in PowerPoint. Now, there's plenty of different ways to create a poster. Uh, the benefits of being a Southport College student is that you've got access to Microsoft uh, PowerPoint on the College Network and on Office 365, which is available via Moodle. So if you log into Moodle, either at college or at home, and if you look at the top, we've got the Office 365 tab here. If you click that, it will take you to your student email account. And if you look in the top left hand corner of the window, open up the app launcher, which is these nine squares up here. You then have access to Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel and PowerPoint. So if you click PowerPoint, it'll take you to um, creating a new PowerPoint page and it gives you some nice looking templates to work from here. So you can choose any of these to work off or create a blank one and create your own artwork on there. Uh, for today's tutorial, I'm just going to pick this one and let it load up. Now we start off with a standard PowerPoint slide. Now this is not the right size to be working on. If you want to create an A1 poster, you need to change the size of this artboard that you'd be working on. Now if you just look at the paper sizes here, you'll be familiar with A4 and A3 sizes, and your academic poster is going to be A1. Okay. The dimensions of an A1 poster in millimeters, and here we have it in inches which is 23.4 inches by 33.1. So what we need to do, we need to change this to that size. Okay, to do that, go along the top ribbon here and click on the design tab. And we need to adjust the slide size. So if we click the slide size, the standard options are standard four by three or widescreen 16 by nine. Now these are for screens, but we want to choose one for print. So we go to custom slide size. Okay, and if we enter into here the dimensions of the A1 poster that we want to create, uh, which is 23.4 by 33.1. Okay, and then you can check. You can then choose whether you want that portrait or landscape. Um, either way, um, it doesn't matter. But generally posters are designed in a portrait format so we click portrait and click OK and it's asking us whether we want to scale the existing artwork that's on the template to fit or if it just fits in uh, we click maximize there and we shall see it all change so now we have an artboard which is A1 in dimensions and the rest works like a standard PowerPoint then. Uh, I'll just give you a, a quick overview. Um, so if we click in here and we'll put um, a title in. Um, okay, so I've just given that a name there. And we can see that it is in font size 48.5. Now on here, 48.5 doesn't look very big, but if we just go over onto this document I've created, so this is how big the sizes are on A4. They're the same whether they're on A4, A3, A2, A1. Um, just as a reference, we're going with size 48.5. So if you're looking at, say this is an A4 piece of paper, size 48 down here, you could do it up to size 72 and that'd be quite big. So we'll just jump back over here. We'll knock this up to say 72. And we'll add a subtitle in here. Okay. Now they are appearing in the middle of the poster. This um is an overview on the left hand side here of what you are creating. So we can move things around by clicking the borderline. 
and you get these nice handy uh, guidelines as well to help you line things up so I think that'll be nice down there of course it's all down to you the artistic look of it all but I'll show you a few little tips and tricks such as inserting a picture so if we go to the top ribbon and we click insert and we go and insert picture and let's stick a nice picture of a cute and cuddly spider now we can see that Mr Spider there is very small in the middle of our poster now to resize him we'll just click on it right let's zoom in a bit more because the controls for this are quite small with the poster being so big so we can zoom in a bit if we click to the view uh, tab on the ribbon and zoom and let's zoom in 200 percent maybe a bit more to 400 okay that's a bit better and we can then hover over the corner and drag it to a bigger size now you notice as you do uh, increase the size of the image you will start to lose quality um, this is because the image will pixelate the more you stretch an image the less um, clarity it will hold <laughs> Um, basically the pixels in the image get further and further apart okay so let's just um, let's just zoom out a bit and I don't want my spider crawling that way across the page I want him to be pointing up the page so we'll click back on the picture and let's zoom back in again and you'll notice here the rotate tool so if you hover over the little circular arrow one appears in black. If you just click and drag when that appears, you can then turn him around like that. And you can also just move him about the page. So using this as a reference, you can put him where you think it's right. There we go, something like that would be nice. And let's have a look. Right, so now maybe we could put some information about Mr. Spider. So if we click insert, and this time we're going to insert a text box. So when we click text box, the text box automatically appears slap bang in the middle of the page. Okay, so you just click and drag that and we'll move it somewhere where it's going to be handy. About there. Now let's zoom into that. And navigate so it's in the middle and we can add text then so we've already got some preloaded text in there which is called click to add text and uh, we're going to populate that with our own So we've got lots of lines there. We could we could adjust the shape of the text box a bit. If we widen it like that, the text will then fit a little better inside. So we'll just get so there's three nice sort of even lines. Uh, if we want to go in and edit that text a bit further, we could then go in and if we go back to the top ribbon up here and click home you get your text editing options now. So we make the title a little bit bigger. So something like 36. Uh, we'll make that bold, underline it. And let's make the body text left aligned like that. And uh, yeah, that's looking a bit neater. But what I want to do now is I'd like to give the text box a bit of color. So if we click back on it and go to format on the ribbon we can then choose shape fill and we can give it a nice yellowy colored fill and again we can just move that just so it's in a right sort of place okay and what we're going to do now is add some arrows so we go to insert 
shapes and click on the arrow here and again like the text box that will appear down here so we'll just click on that and drag it back up and now it's, it's it's not pointing the way we want so to make it change direction just hover over the little anchor point there and we can drag that to where we like it and also it's quite thin that so we can make that a bit thicker if we go to shape outline under the format tab and you hover down over weight and we'll make give it a weight of four and a half point there we go that's a bit better now it's got more than one leg so what we'll do we'll try and copy and paste that so a lot of people use this method but unfortunately on PowerPoint online you can't use the right click to copy and paste what you've got to do is use the keyboard commands so to copy you'd use control and C and to paste control and V okay there's a little prompt there to remind you so I'm now holding control C let go control V and we get a duplicate arrow there so we can then change the direction of that one and control V again we'll get one more like that okay you can do that with anything so if we click on the text box control and C let go control and V you'll see it paste pretty much over the top of the previous one so just hover up near the edge of the box you can then drag it around and use the bars to navigate all right so we'll change this now And we can add some more facts in there. And again, you can control C, control V on the arrow. And we can add them in there. Lovely. Okay. Now, when you've finished populating your poster, we want to save it. Now, printers won't be very happy if you supply them with a PowerPoint file. So what you want to do is save this as a PDF. So if we go to File over here and click Download As, you get some options. You can download it as a PowerPoint or download it as a PDF or an ODP. We'll download it as a PDF. This um, this file format it can be opened on pretty much any computer whereas a PowerPoint might not necessarily open on everybody's computer so we use PDFs so we've clicked that and we're going to click download and it will automatically start downloading in the left hand corner now once that's done just minimize this and we go to um, file explorer and it should be in your H drive somewhere let's have a look presentation PDF I'll give it a very original name there so we'll just open that with Adobe Reader This is the first time I've opened it with this, so <laughs> it's giving me all the error messages. Okay, there we have it. So that file is now ready to go to the printers. Uh, I hope this helped. Thank you very much for listening.